Dallas at Miami 2011 finals rematch and that means of course LeBron James and Dirk going mano a mano sort of Dirk's Flash. broken that ball early yes he Flash. was Monte Ellis found him Dirk with 12 three or three behind the arc in the first quarter LeBron responding on the block backing down Jay Crowder and making that layup you can't cover him one on one you got to send somebody right away to get the ball out of his hands Chris Anderson sets the screen for Ray Anderson rolling Lupa. You know, I love the Birdman. He sets a pick and he gets right out of the pick. He gets right to the rim and they find it. And then Wade, looking very good, stepping back and hit that jumper off glass. Miami up by nine. Later in the second, LeBron. Uh oh. To a cutting D Wade. Turn it back the clock. Them two are so good together. They know each other's tendencies, where they like the ball on the floor. And yes, they can play pretty good defense. You see him, unselfish play gives it back to LeBron. For the easy dunk. Oh my goodness. Great defense by D Wade tonight. We'll get to that in a moment. Monte Ellis, Jose Calderon. Calderon's been shooting the lights out from behind the line, and it's great to have Monte Ellis pushing the basketball and finding Jose Calderon in transition. Calderon another three, a 19 to 4 run on the road, and now it's a two point game. Calderon had four threes in the game. LeBron. On the block, turns around, a little fadeaway. Wait, again, you gotta send somebody to get the ball out. He's too good off the dribble. He's too big, too strong, and like you saw there, can hurt you in many ways. Heat answered back with a 16-6 run. Then Chalmers delivers a high forearm to Dirk, and ejected. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Hey, I mean, you had to reach up to pop him with that. Yeah, yeah, that's Dirk. a guy seven foot. Dirk is a seven footer, and he still caught him in the face. Dirk, no worse for the wear. Hits that jumper. Splash. Miami's up by just one. Now LeBron, again, muscling, fading, hitting. He, he, gave, he gave him the dirt yeah. off the one leg. <laughs> but the scout report on a guy like that, when he's hot, you see he had 39 points. Go get the ball out of his hands. He's too good offensively. That is a season high 39 for LeBron on 14 of 18 points. Most points he scored with that many attempts from the field or fewer. Wade had eight steals and eight assists to go along with his 17 points. That is the second Heat player to post eight and eight joining Tim Hardaway in 97 who did it back for Miami then Miami's uh, won the last five games between these teams and they've scored over 100 in all nine games this year. Here's Wade and LeBron talking about the win. Normally we get in the zone offensively and we go for 40s whatever. Then I was that's kind of a zone defensively where you just um, you reading the defense you're in the right place at the right time as well but you're making things happen and um, you know your team is you know is feuded from that. You know we love the way we're sharing the ball. And um, you know, when we share the ball like we've been like we've been doing, you know, this part of the season, you know, offensively we can't be stopped, you know, because you don't know where it's coming from. Um, everyone is, is always live. Everyone has an oppor equal an opportunity to go, and uh, you know, it's great. It's you know, it's, it's it's fun to play in a system like this where everyone just is unselfish. No one cares about who scores or not. And that's how they roll, Smitty. Uh, once they start. Turning, you turn the ball over to them, they get in the open floor and big run, and all of a sudden you're behind. We know their offense is always going to be there because they're fan fantastic. They have some guys that can score the basketball, and LeBron James breaks the defense down. But what I saw tonight is a treat to see LeBron James, but scary for the lead. This is Jay Crowder, but watch. This is Jay Crowder, Vince Carter, and Dewan Blair coming over, and still LeBron James scores. Him being able to post up, I love this play right here, the one three pick and roll. What it does is gets the team off balance. Now it's Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis is a good defender, but you have LeBron James with the size. Off balance, a little bump. Drew four defender. We know he's a great passer. Could have kicked it out, but it was one of those nights where he had it rolling. Now, next, spotlight right now. Monte Ellis on him again. I'm with Dominique. Send the help. Send the help. Right now. He probing, probing. He goes to the baseline. If he can develop this shot with consistency, what can you do? Even if Dirk and Vince Carter would have got there because of his vision, he could have kicked it out to these three-point shooters, but he had it rolling. This is an unbelievable technician, school time, big time play on the block for LeBron James. I mean, I, I'm having shakes because I love to see <laughs> guys post up. Oh, yeah, I, I love to see now great see small forwards. Up. Anyway, you know, Ooh, as, as a small up. forward, you love to see that. But when you have a great scorer like that, what you want to do is to send him to the help, not away from the help, because you can get more help quickly. That way you're going to make somebody else beat you. And you live with that. You don't want the best player always beating you every single night. you got to make someone else beat you. Well, Miami, again, uh, just taking that ball away. 19 steals in this game, and it is Dallas turning it over 24 times. And that's just a lethal combination against the Miami. I'm and, marking and this one down, Vince. This is the one I had to I know you were shakes. shakes. 